He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a mallet in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious. Right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then? Not the slightest chance. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgand would be a smoking ruin. Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a Code Red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> and let me guess, that's where the Blood Wings come in. Exactly. There are Blood Wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these Code Red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, They'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so... Here, take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those Code Red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these Code Red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those Blood Wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo Curry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar. Right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes? Sounds good. Uh, There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right.
finish this quick. <laughs> Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons.
Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the Shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been. But we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it! Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser! Yep, you're completely right. All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Red crates. The seal of Midgant Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Okay. We're done here. Let's go. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorius as soon as possible. It's you! Oh, hey. The crybaby. Eleanor Hume! Exorcist Crater! You won't get away this time! You really want to fight, don't you? Willing to fight without your Malachine? No! You set the storehouse ablaze?! The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis! How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built?! Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malachim up her sleeves! We'll protect you, Madam Eleanor! Come and face me now, demon! He 
he's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That bad, bad voice! Bien Fu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! <laughs> what are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Let me go! Witch nippers! Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine, provided by High Priest Gideon, to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Let's go back and report our success. <laughs> <laughs>